if you come here to my spawn events so this is the event I mean this is the script that pretty much spawns um, enemies from my template map which is testing hall to whichever map I want it to be spawned in um, so if I go to spawn encounter these are codes that I wrote myself if you come up here um, all this is pretty much doing if you guys want to copy it, you can um, but all this is pretty much doing is um, it sets a limit of how many enemies can spawn um, at a given time. So for example, let's say the limit on the map is 20. Only 20 enemies can spawn. Then after that, um, enemies will stop spawning completely until you leave the map and come back um, to that overworld map. Um, and then we have enemy pool one, enemy pool two, enemy pool three, and enemy pool four. So it all depends on the region that you are. So, for example, if you're in the grass regions, these are the enemies um, that will spawn, or these are the events that will spawn. If you're in the snow, these will spawn. If you're in the desert, this will spawn. And if you're by water, these will spawn, right? Um, uh, so, it pretty much says, hey, what region is the um, player standing on? If you're standing on the grass, then it knows to use the um, this pool. Um here it pretty much just says um give me a random one of these right so for example if i have 50 enemies that you could um spawn this will pretty much just um take a random number between zero and 50 and then it will spawn that um enemy if you guys know how arrays work they start counting from zero all the way to whatever the maximum number is and all this is doing is pretty much just taking so for example this enemy pool one is taking that enemy pool and then it's is getting a random number based on the size of that pool so if I come here so let's say this I don't know exactly how many elements is in here I haven't counted that's why I just um, use size because size automatically counts it for me so if I come here and I add in this so 12 1 uh, 234 and I add more elements in it I don't have to go to the code and specifically say hey um, um, give me a random number between X and X it will just automatically find how many elements is in here and generate um, a random number based on how many elements it's in here that's what the size does right and then moving down um, this is pretty much um, SPX and XPY it, it gets um, the exact location that the player standing on then introduces a random neck um, a random um, number between um, 0 and 5 for where the enemy will spawn so if you're standing on um, 1 1 then it will spawn an enemy either outside of your field of view or right by you um, but usually the way I have to set up it spawns it just outside of your field of view um, so it doesn't look like the enemy just appeared out of nowhere um, so that's what that does pretty much if we continue here um, but that's pretty much the gist of this code um, this is just the random the way we spawn all the enemies and also how we spawn in um, the portals which is this 126 that's the portal um, so moving forward is the dungeon spawn dungeon enemy so here we manually well not manually um it's pretty much the same code as this but it's less um it's less jarring so it's a little bit more condensed because this one is trying to spawn the enemy um it's not gonna spawn it in a random um region because if you're standing over here then it might spawn the enemy over here because this is also region one so we want it to spawn the enemy um, as close to the player as possible so over here these just it doesn't matter exactly where so let's go back to inner land so it doesn't really matter where the enemy is so let, i mean the player is so let's say i'm here um it doesn't matter if it spawns the enemies here 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 or because the enemies are supposed to just already be there um and then the same thing so again everything applies here enemy pool 
you have the random size so if I add more elements to this I don't have to go back here and manually specify um, how many more and um, enemies I've added it will just calculate that for me um, and then the spawns event in region 1 and then the event that it spawns is pretty much um, it picks an enemy and then it picks a random number so for example let's say there's 10 elements in here um, it's gonna say okay enemy pool but I want to get the X number so if this number happens to evaluate to five then it will go zero one two three four five and it will spawn and um, the enemy with the ID 112 um, and then dungeon boss again is the same thing but it has a smaller pool because I don't have as many bosses as enemies and then what I did to kind of save myself time is um, it will also let me actually do this because the reason why I did that pretty much when the before the um, dungeon boss is spawned is gonna go ahead and call back this um, spawn dungeon enemies it's gonna pick a random number between 0 and 10 well 1 and 10 I think right and then how many num whatever number that is is gonna spawn 10 of those enemy so 10 times so it's gonna do this 10 times so it's gonna spawn 10 enemies or 5 or 6 or whatever number this ends up being um, I could also delete that because that doesn't really do anything well it does but it doesn't um, so again the BP so um, again BP um, it's pretty much the same thing as here all it does is um, so again it's spawning the enemies the sa the boss the same way it will spawn the enemy um, but it will always spawn 10 up to 10 enemies from what I have it um, set up there so back to here so once the dungeon spawns in the overworld and you um, so let's go back so now that you know how everything is spawning let's go back to testing hall so this is um, 126 this is the dungeon that gets spawned so all it's doing is it's picking a random number so PT done uh, PT done uh, size so that's the um, portal dungeon size it picks a random number between 0 and 3 um, then it picks some um, between the random number between one and eight that's how many dungeons that we have um, and then it saves your map location your map ID and your X and Y on that map and then it runs a common event portal dungeon transfer so what that common event pretty much does is portal dungeon transfer so based on that number that random number that it picked on one through eight it will put you in one of those random dungeons so if it's one then you're going to inner land zero if it's eight you're going to inner land seven because um the counting starts at zero uh so yeah it transfers you there once you get there right then you have a couple of things this is what spawns the enemies and the bosses in um the the room so spawn dungeon boss all that does is calls this and then this calls this to spawn the enemies um, this is the chest that we spawn into the room randomly so as you can see this is a clone and the clones 128 so if we go back to testing hall 128 should be this which is the chest which gives you better loot than the other stuff uh, so if we go back to NLN 0 and then the last thing that happens is pretty much um, it also sp um, I put in a clone of 127 if you notice up here all this is doing is um, putting this event in a random region 1 and then I think I do the same thing here random region 1 so those are um, spawned randomly um, within region 1 so back to this one it clones 127 so if we go back to testing hall 127 it should be the exit um, portal so all this portal does is checks hey is dungeon size greater than zero um, if it is it's gonna subtract one from the dungeon size on so let's say for example the dungeon size happened to be three 
it's gonna check it it's gonna say it's gonna say it is greater than zero so it's gonna subtract the one from it so it's gonna be it's gonna go from three to two um, then it's gonna turn cell switch a on on this map uh, map reset right and what that does is this is a blank map that um, I use this in a couple of different ways but the main reason um, I'm using it for this system is let's say for example you're in inner land zero when you go to a new map and you use the exit portal it can um, teleport you back to inner land zero because again it's picking a random number between one and eight so let's say it picked one for the first time um, you end up in inner land zero then when you head to the exit portal it will also pick a random number between one and eight if you pick one again then it will bring you back to the same map that you just left now the issue with that is if you go back to the same map you just left it won't give um, it won't reset the map so in order to have this map reset and have all the enemies spawn back and have the chest work and everything work the same way it has to you have to leave the map completely and then come back to that map in order for everything to reset um, so that's where this comes in um, map reset so every time you transfer to the portal it's gonna bring you to map reset so if we go back to here it's gonna bring you to map reset it's gonna turn on the cell switch A on on map reset, so that's what this is doing. Then it will transfer you to map reset. So once you get to map reset, what happens is um, all this does is it calls that common event and turns cell switch A off again, so you can repeat the cycle over and over again. Um, and if you look through these ones, they're pretty much the same the same thing. Um, I pretty much just use it to reset the maps. Um, and then again, that common event that it just called is the common event that pretty much transfers you to a random map. So that's what this random one to eight is. And then it will take you to a random map for you to do everything over again. Uh, testing hall, testing hall, we are here, right? And then let's say that, um, the dungeon size, um, is equal to zero. Or, well, as long as it's not greater than zero, it's just going to transfer you back to where you last left to enter the dungeon in the first place. And it will bring you back exactly where you left off. So, that's pretty much the system. It's nothing too complicated. Um, and again, like I said, I'm going to add a lot more um, maps. I'm going to make them bigger. I'm gonna make some smaller ones. I'm gonna add traps. I'm going to add um, uh, puzzles for you people to figure out. Um, I'm gonna be adding the chest that um, requires two keys, so that way you can gamble whether you want to hold on to the keys until you get to the third level, but you might never get to the third level. Um, and then even if you do get to the third level, you have a chance of that chest actually spawning. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. I'm trying to see if I left anything out. If you guys need help setting the system up or doing something similar, comment down below. If you have any questions or you seem confused or anything like that, comment down below. If you want to play the game now, um, the link to my Patreon is down below. Please make sure that you subscribe. It's only a dollar to gain access to the game. Um, but if you want um, up to date, um, if you want the latest updated version of the game, you have to make sure that you do the three dollar options, which will um, allow you to play the game at its current level, um, at its latest version that I've released, um, versus the one dollar, which will just give you the um, the older version of the game. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I'm leaving here. No, nope, that's pretty much the system. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to be um, subscribed to my channel. And that way you get updates every time I release a new video. Make sure to hit that bell notification to also be notified when I release those videos. And also when I post stuff in the community tab, which I do often. Um, subscribe to my Patreon. Support the game, if you, especially if you've been enjoying the game. But that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to be having more videos like these for you guys where I um, 
go more in detail on the systems that I'm using for the game and how to set them up just in case it's something you guys are interested in. But without further ado, have a good day. Peace.